Okay, this is just a quick refresher on getting your corners. Now remember the goal of the corner is to have a nice tense edge stretched like that. So because we're doing here, we've established we are doing a portrait style orientation. We want the flap to go this way and the nice clean edge to go like that. So we're gonna do this corner, it's our second corner opposite our first corner. The name of the game is tension. So before I even worry about my creases, I'm just gonna make sure my edge right here is nice and tight. I'm not weightlifting here, I'm not pulling for the Olympics, I'm just holding nice tension there. I'm gonna get a pin and I'm gonna put it in somewhere over here away from my flap. And it's just gonna hold that tension. Now you saw it relax, it's okay, we're gonna come take care of the rest later. Notice our pins are in towards the center of our canvas. That way, once all our pins are in, pow, 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 pow with the staple gun. Nice and easy, no stress. There's no rush to your corners. You'll be holding some tension, you'll be letting go. It's okay to completely let go. You can reestablish it later. No need to panic on corners. We just want to remember, because again, this is portrait, we want this nice and tight this way. We'll have a little triangle bump over here. So we've got our tension here. Two points I'm worried about are the wood down at the bottom. You can kind of imagine it down here. And right here, points A down there, point B right there. So I'm gonna use my finger, if I have a fingernail even easier, and I'm going to touch point A, and if I just hold it, you see it naturally will form a V. So I'm gonna get that V and make sure that my point A, which is down here, is working like that. I'm pulling tension here. There's my corner. It's not pretty yet, it's okay. We're just establishing it bit by bit. So, pulling here, we're making sure point A looks good down there. Now we're gonna get concerned about point B. We want the fold or the crease to emanate from point B just like we want the fold and the crease to emanate from point A. So it looks like I've immediately established a nice little crease from point B. Now I can pay attention to point A again. I'm gonna keep my tension here while I'm doing this. I pull this over and point A looks good. I wanna get this crease nice and tight. I'm still pulling with my hand and now I'm pulling with my right hand. My left hand's pulling. My right hand's pulling. I'm gonna get in the way, sorry, just so I can see. And I have a nice corner there. So I'm gonna hold it still. I'm gonna pin it in. If I don't like it, it's okay to unpin it and start it again. If I accidentally fold the wrong corner, whoops, it's okay, take it all out. Let it relax, try to get rid of the creases you formed. And start again, bam, look how fast all we have to do with that method, all we have to do, boom, there it is. All we have to do is just uh, refine it with our tension. By the time we're done, I'll be right back. This is for you and LV students only. This is not professional. This is not professional. By the time we get back, this is a landscape painting. You see that we have a nice, fresh, clean, stretched edge. This is what this top and the bottom of the landscape will have that little triangle there. So if you're putting it on a wall with no frame, that's gonna look super nice and clean. If you frame it, doesn't matter, who cares? It'll be framed, you won't see the corner, as long as it's tight for the nice tension for your painting surface. Okay, thanks very much everybody.